18 quintillion planets, an entire universe at your fingertips. Every single planet is unique, massively multiplayer. What do you mean by this? Limitless exploration. You will never run out of content. Infinite possibilities. You see that planet? You can explore it. Harambe Resurrection. Hype. Lies. Did you fall for the No Man's Sky meme? I didn't. I want to say that I kind of feel sorry for everyone who got sucked into the SHAWN MORAL HYPE TRAIN! But honestly, it's entirely your fault if you bought that game based on expectations alone. I will admit though, I was sitting there looking at GOG just as the game was about to be released on PC, thinking to myself, maybe there's more to this game than what's being shown off. But after watching hundreds of streams of people playing the game on PS4, all of which were just doing the exact same thing, I said fuck that and just borrowed the game for my friend. And thank God, because I fucking dodged a bullet. Lo and behold, it was the exact game I expected it to be a mediocre, overhyped indie title in which you explore randomly generated planets with little to no actual content. It's Minecraft in space, except not really, because you can't mine everything like you can in Minecraft. Only specific objects or pieces of the environment can be mined. Although despite that, I did manage to garner some mild amusement from playing Skyrim with spaceships. Exploration is a niche that I happen to be into, and No Man's Sky does somewhat fulfill my innate wanderlust. But it almost feels wrong to say something positive about No Man's Sky, even if it is the truth. Though I digress, because while exploration may be an interesting and redeemable aspect of this game, the rest of it is still shit. Walking around planets and looking at things does not warrant this game to have a $60 redo price tag. Let me break down every single thing you can and will do in No Man's Sky besides just exploring planets. Discover and name fauna, flora, words, areas, outposts, planets, and solar systems. Collect resources. Shoot at drones and hostile fauna. Sell resources. Travel through space in your own spaceship. Mine asteroids. Shoot other spaceships. Visit space stations. Buy a new spaceship. Travel to a new planet. Rinse and repeat. Besides getting to the center of the galaxy, the only real concrete objectives to do are to collect more words to understand alien language and acquire mass sums of cash. Everything you do in this game that even loosely revolves around exploration rewards you with units. Discovering stuff, mining stuff, killing robots, doing any of these things is another way to make money. You're basically playing as a formless SPACE Jew, Flying around the cosmos with the intention of making massive amounts of space shekels by hoarding everything he sees in his immediate sight. The only thing you're really gonna want to spend those shekels on are cooler multi-tools, suit expansions, and new spaceships. And the only thing that makes more expensive spaceships better is their larger inventory space, which gives you the ability to carry even more pointless things. No matter what ship you have, the only purpose it really serves is to hold all your crap and take you from planet to planet so you can get and sell even more crap. In fact, the ship controls in this game just feel terrible to use. Trying to turn around feels sluggish. You have no situational awareness since you can't look around your cockpit when you're flying your ship. You can't come to a complete stop and hover. And you can't manually land your ship. You just hold down E and it lands automatically. Cause see, there's this invisible wall that's about 50 meters high on every planet and it prevents you from driving your ship straight into the ground. Even though this makes landing FASO proof, it in turn makes trying to land in a precise location next to impossible. Instead, you just have to eyeball it and hope it's close enough. Space in and of itself is also pointless because there is essentially nothing to do in it. It's just an empty void, kind of like in real life, I suppose. Although space in No Man's Sky seems to also contain an insurmountable number of asteroids floating around that also seem to provide the correct element required to fuel your ship in case for some reason you run out of fuel. Of course, there are also space stations, but they're just essentially smaller planets who always have an NPC and trading post in them. And there are tons of little things about this game that just detract from the overall experience, making it feel more like a nuisance to play rather than something I can enjoy. For one, this stupid fucking suit AI never shuts the fuck up. Gamma protection falling. Extreme cold damage detected. Incredibly. Navigational data received. Shield down. Life support power. No. Life support offline. Constantly talking about how I'm running low on life support, or how it's too cold outside. Also, environmental hazards like heat, cold, radiation, and toxic, they're all just the same thing. And all they really do is change the color of the bar depending on what planet you're on. And the rate at which you're given new journey milestones is way too high. It feels like one pops up every five minutes. They persist on the screen for up to 30 seconds sometimes, while also locking you out of interacting with anything while it's showing you your accomplishments. <laughs> and worst of all, this game's FOV. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, motion sick. Turning it all the way up to 100 in the game settings did not feel like 100 FOV in the slightest. I had to go edit an any file and turn the FOV up to 120, and it still felt zoomed in. Of course, I could just set it all the way to 150, but when you do that, textures just start de-rendering on the side of the screen. And the ship view, well, just look at it. Even the combat in this game, well, I wouldn't even really consider it to be called combat, just stinks. You can literally just stand chill and shoot at the drones that attack you in the exact same way that you mine things. They have terrible AI, and they don't even bother doing anything besides just floating there, waiting to be killed. Maybe it'd be a little more interesting if they tried to dodge your fire, but that wouldn't change the oh-so-incredibly deep point-and-click mechanics. Oh! And my god, the performance in this game is absolutely Horrid. When I was streaming on the 12th, I had massive stuttering problems, and my PC was just locking up and freezing when I was trying to get into my ship. When I was playing off stream, I was getting around 40 FPS on average with minimal stuttering issues. If the game ran at a solid 60 frames on high settings and was only about 15 dollar dues, then maybe I'd say it was worth it. But at 60 dollar dues, no fucking way I would ever buy this garbage. For this game to warrant a 60 Canuck buck purchase, it would need fully destructible worlds, character and ship customization, base building and slew of subnautica, planets with multiple environment types spread across them, warring NPC factions, both in space and on planet surfaces, drop in drop out multiplayer that you can connect to instantly with your online friends, large multi person ships that can be walked around in and flown, NPCs with fully voiced dialogue, a fleshed out questing system with actual objectives, the ability to get out of your ship and float around in space, large destroyed transport ships that can be fully explored, space actually having a viable purpose besides being a giant empty highway. And while one or two of those things are supposedly slated to be added in an up upcoming update, a majority of them are things that people just expected to be in the game upon release. But no, Sean Murray essentially lied, leaving things so ambiguous in interviews that people just let their imaginations run wild with expectations. All I ever expected out of this game was a neat little space sim. Fly around a galaxy, find some cool looking planets, have a look around, and then move on. But no. There's all this fluff in between that just drags it out into a boring mess of a game. I want to spend maybe five minutes max on each planet I visit, but I end up spending close to an hour because I just feel so obligated to find every single goodie possible while there. Look, just throw this shit game in the trash. Or refund it if you still have the chance to. And go download Space Engine. It's been in development for five years, and it's honestly still the most quintessential space exploration experience out there. And you know what the best part about it is? It's completely free.